Hello there everybody and welcome to a new Chavaria modding video. In this episode we are going to be creating dusts and right off the bat I'm just going to show you how to create a simple particle graphic. Let's make it pink. Set the bright size to 2. Let's save to there, 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 and actually we need to just quickly do something in here so we get the folder appearing. Back there. It didn't appear, that's annoying. Try that again, shall we? And we're just going to call this tutorial dust dot pung. And now let's not open that, that was the wrong thing. Let's create a new class in dust called tutorial dust and do the usual stuff using terraria using terraria dot mod loader mod dust need to make that public not public it has a stutter public override and choose on spawn dust dot velocity and we'll do times equals and you can change this number we'll do 6f change the velocity on both x and y to uh sorry Multi multiply the velocity on both x and y by a float example dot void one f dust dot no gravity equals true this doesn't emit light Uh, times equals one point. Let's do two F. The scale of the graphic default one F. Okay. Then here, type in public override update. Dust 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 dot position plus equals dust dot velocity. Then, if you want to change the rotation, uh, moves the dust according to the velocity. Uh, dust dot rotation plus equals dust dot velocity dot x times. Not point two F will rotate the dust based on velocity. Then we're going to do dust dot scale times equals naught point nine zero F. Uh, will Decrease the scale over time. And if dust dot scale is less than 0.5f, dust dot active equals false. 
and return false. False. If I could spell that, would be nice. Now let's add dust to one of our items. In this case, we're going to choose the sword. So let me just find the code here. It's I believe, if I remember correctly, is simply just yes. Okay. So public override melee effects. And we could do if main dot rand dot next three equals zero. So there'd be a one in three chance of this happening. Int dust equals dust dot new dust new vector two hitbox dot x vector two oops sorry, I'm being an idiot hitbox dot y then hitbox dot width hitbox dot hitbox dot height then mod dot uh mod dot object I'll force habit there dust type is what did I call it tutorial dust and hopefully that should work so this will emit the dust when you uh, use the weapon. Let's start up and let's test. So I will be back as soon as this is loaded. Okay then, so here we are in the tutorial world. So let's get our tutorial sword. And as you can see, it's releasing this pink uh, particle and also I don't think I've ever shown this in a video but if you have disabled a mod uh, and you and it generated orb and stuff it will turn out to be this pink I feel like I showed it in the last video uh, I don't think I actually mentioned why it's there. But yeah. So you can change settings around so you can make it happen every time by just getting rid of this. Uh, you can also, let me try and remember which one can, which ones can do it. I feel like this one can. Let me just do a test. Not that one. Uh, let's try a projectile. Um, do it on the javelin. I believe I have it written in public override. I'm trying to remember. Sure, there's something that you'd enter. Just cannot remember for the life of me. I mean, I forgot this was even a thing for the longest time. So let me jump to projectiles real quick and see if I can um, find how to do it. Remember and find. I'm sure there's some code. Aha! Uh -huh. It's not that. You do it in AI. Never mind. If you do it in AI, you just do the same thing as before. Uh, in dust equals dust dot new. Projectile 
dot position projectile dot width projectile dot height mod dot dust type equals whatever yours is etc etc but yeah that's how you create a dust I feel like this has been a shorter video it has indeed but next time we start something big we start creating a boss and that's going to be a three part uh, series of videos uh, first one is setting up the boss second one is boss AI I believe and third one is boss loot and summoning item I want to say I might be completely wrong on that but that's going to do it for this episode thank you everyone for watching till next time goodbye